This is my fifth year at Maker Faire. Love coming. It's, it's a wonderful thing. This is where I really she's my daughter. Say hi. Hi. It's her first year. And the condition of her coming was she had to give a presentation with me on stage. So we'll see how much we get, we get to talk and, and interact and, and do things like that. Oh, you're doing great. That's great. So when we, we decided to do this, we tried to come up with a project like four or five months ago that we could do together. So we said, well, this will be an Arduino-based project. It'll involve lights. It'll involve Arduino stuff. And it has to be kind of interesting to the kids. So here we are. We also want to give free stuff away because that's fun, too. Look, they've already got their first Arduino pack. And we're going to give away two more before we're said and done. So as we go through it, first thing you're going to do on any project is build it to have fun. I'm having fun already, so I, I think it's great. All right, so this project is based on Arduino. Um, if you haven't seen them yet, they're everywhere in here. There's variants of them. Arduino uh, Uno, Uno One, uh, is the one that we're basing this off of. Um, we're going to put together several parts very quickly so we can get through this and hopefully keep the, everybody's interest. That's the Arduino Uno. They're about uh, $10 on eBay. You can buy them here, I think, for $20, $25, $30, <laughs> I don't know. I go to eBay, free shipping, $10, bucks, you are done. You can buy these uh, LED strips or these little circle things here for about $7 from Adafruit. Adafruit.com is a, a supplier of a lot of these electronics. Uh, distance sensor, you want to show them that? Right there, that's uh, 3 $4, maybe 5 on eBay. Just depends where you buy it, all with free shipping. Uh, you're going to need some wire. Uh, we got a wooden cigar box over here. Uh, it varies, you know, whatever you want to put it in, but we'll get into that here in just a second. So, when you, when you decide what you're going to build, you can follow a recipe, which is all nice and fun, but to me it's kind of boring. We don't like doing recipes. We're not good cooks. No, no mom is. We're not. Uh, first thing we did is we got down and, and you drew, what'd you draw? A, a electric LED flower. A big one. It was huge. It had all kinds of things coming off of it and, and, and all kind of parts, and it was great. It was huge. And, and, and we, we put little pieces of paper together and, and tried to figure out how long the wires were going to be and, and all kinds of stuff. And how successful was that? We didn't do it because we didn't have enough time. We didn't have enough time, among other things. So when you're doing your project, make sure you set your reality on there. Uh, make sure it's something you can actually accomplish, accomplish quickly, between homework, work, stuff. It has to be simple. So that's where we came up with this one. It's an electric flyer. It wasn't the original one we were going to do, but it, it works. So the first thing you need is an Arduino, which is right here on the screen. I don't know if you, you can't see that. It's over there. But it's Arduino. Like I said, uh, each one, each of the sides have little numbers. You're going to put pins in it. You're going to do programming. And as, as we went back and forth, parents, if you've got some electrical background or computer background or any of that, uh, a lot of this will become a little bit easier for you. But as we discussed it, it was fun me telling her kind of what each pin does, how you program it, how you go through the program, how you turn things on and off. And, and one of the first things, well, we'll get into that, is, is you make the little LED blink. And that's the first thing you do when you order one of these. Next thing you do, if you're out here looking at robots, you're going to see this little sensor module, this little $5 sensor module. It's the heart of a lot of the robots. And what it does is it sends a little sound wave out and sends it back and says, hey, you're X distance apart. You're so many centimeters or inches or whatever. This is the, probably one of the more important, one of the modules you want to learn and, and play with when you go through stuff. Um, and then, of course, the NeoPixel rings, like we talked about earlier, where you have different colors they can do. They can do just about any color you want. I think there's a thousand different colors. I don't know. You can buy these strips 100 feet long, 10 feet long, a foot long, whatever. So when you get these strips, let me grab one here. They're going to come somewhat like this. They got a little plastic covering on them. Um, you're going to decide how am I, what am I going to do with this? Well, a lot of times you're going to have to turn around and cut it to the length that you want. And this is kind of cool. A lot of people didn't know this. You just use scissors to cut it. Little copper two things here, cut in half, take some scissors, cut it, you're done. I've got some here somewhere. There it is. So you just go like this and you're done. I'll pass this around so you guys can look at it. Here you go. And that's all you do when you cut them apart. Now when you cut them apart, you've got to put three wires on it. 
Can anybody raise their hand if they know what one of those three wires is? What? Power. What kind of power? Positive. That's right. We call it the what color wire? Red. Red wire, which is how many volts? Five. Five volts. Everybody say five volts. Because that's what we're running these at, five volts. You can buy 12 volt ones, but I like five volt ones because they're easy. Um, what's the other wire you need? If you got a red wire, you need what wire? Yes, young man. What? What? Ground, right. Or we call it the black wire. I can't hear. It's not his fault. It's mine. It's the black wire. Oh, I'm sorry. You, that's your part, isn't it? It's the black wire. So you got a red wire, you got a black wire. And we have one more wire. This young man knows what it is. So I'm not going to tell you. Let, call on you. Just, okay, go ahead. What's it? What is it? It's a white. Wait. Is he cheating? Maybe a little. All right. It's a white wire, which has no significance whatsoever. Other than that is your data wire. That's what's going to tell each of these LEDs what color you want them to be, how fast you want them to flash, whatever. You do whatever you want with that wire because that's, that's the important wire. That's what tells it to do things. So when you go into these different halls and you see all these blinking lights, how many wires do they have? Three. And one of them's red, one of them's black, and one of them's data, and it's whatever color we want to make it. Okay, let's see, where's this thing? We're also going to need power. If you get a whole bunch of these lights going, it's going to overwhelm this PC. You only want to go about a foot if you're playing on a PC. If you go really long, you've got to get a separate power supply. And that's where this is going to come in. They're about six, seven volts. Depending on how long you want to go, there's different um, uh, calculations for that. We're not going to use one today, but if you wanted to, get one on eBay. They're about five, ten bucks. They're cheap. They're easy. And you'll plug the red and the black wire into that and the data wire into the Arduino. Okay, so you get your Arduino. You get it set up. You get it going. You go to the Arduino website, which is right there. You download the software, which is super free. If you've watched any of these presentations, we all do the same thing. We download the software. You get the tools, you go to the menu, you choose Uno because what is that? Right, it's the one that we're, we're using. And then you try the first test. What's the first test? I know you know this. The blink test, right. That's the first thing you're gonna do. And if that worked, you're doing good. If it didn't, start over. All right, who knows C? You guys are ahead of the game. You're good to go. All right, the next thing you do after you've got this thing going is you're gonna take a little Wow, they're loud over there. They're going to get your LEDs. You're going to plug them in and see if you can make them blink and do fun things like this. This is the first test you'll do. Is All it will do is run through all the colors and blink a little bit and look fun and make sure you put it on the correct pin. Now, can we change that pin? You've heard of, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, a bunch of pins. Can we change the pin? Yeah, of course. All you got to do is know. What do I need to know to change it? C, right. You know C. Yeah, he does. All right, so if you know C or you can read code, you can change it because it says pin number six. six. And you can change it to? Ten. Five or? Three. Or ten or whatever you want to do. All right. Next thing you're going to do once you got your lights going, you got your Arduino, is you're going to get this little puppy going right here. These are fun little sensors. You're going to get a little breadboard like this. If you buy the wires, which is part of what I recommend on here, you'll plug it in like this, very quick, very easy, and you'll link it over to the Arduino. And she's going to demonstrate all this real quick. She's got five minutes or less to do it. So when we say go, she's going to try to run through it, and hopefully she does it. If she doesn't, she doesn't get to go home. And we're from Oklahoma, so it's a long ways back. You also want to get some jumper cables. This is what took me forever. Little jumper cables, $5 at Amazon. I went to Radio Shack, I bought their cable, didn't work. I went to Home Depot, I bought that cable, didn't work. Hey, Cat5 cable does work if it's flexible, but I didn't think of that till later. So order these on Amazon, they're five bucks, you get like 30, 40 of them. They're a lifesaver, they're awesome. And incidentally, everything we talk about here will be on waverlydesigns.com. We're going to put the whole presentation on there. You'll be ready to go. we got business cards here somewhere. We're not selling anything. We don't want your business or nothing. We're just sharing information out there because it's fun. And it was a good way for her to learn website stuff. 
All right, so we got that, and we got a button here that I pressed the wrong one. Yep, download that, get the pins. Whoa, I hear stuff. You guys hear that? All right, it hurts my ears too. Okay, so you've got all the hardware together. What do we got to do next? Somebody. Put it together, and what else? I'll give you a hint, it's on the screen. Programming, he's got, that man got an Arduino just now. He just won an Arduino, just like that. You gotta raise your hand, you gotta be, no, I wanna, I wanna know. Oh look, they're raising their hand, no. <laughs> All right, so as you go through each of these things, these tests to flash lights, uh, to make these sensors work, work with your, your, your kiddos, the, the experts in the room, whatever you wanna call them, so they understand why a pin six does this, or a pin eight does that. It tells you in the code. It, it's not real difficult to look at. You just gotta go through it, and, and it's there. It's, it's, it's simple. All right, demo time. This is where she gets five minutes to put this together. Hopefully we can switch over to the camera here pretty quick. All right, so everything's on the screen. We're gonna, we're gonna unplug it. Take this, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so here's all your stuff. Here's your sensor, here's your LED strip. Here's the Arduino right here. Here's our breadboard right here. See that? These are our jumper wires we talked about. We all know what that is. Let's see, this is to keep the positives and negatives from touching. And, oh, one more thing. These little pins come in handy if you don't have a way to put the jumper cables in. They're removable. You can buy them in most places for like a nickel. Let's see, should I trick her? No, I don't think I will. All right, uh. go for it. So what she's doing right now is from memory, when we talked about it, she knows that she's got to hook up the power. And this is for the LED strips. So what she's doing right now, marked on that you know, or that Arduino is a positive five volt because it's based on five volt power and a ground. So she's plugging that in. That white wire she just plugged in, no, not yet, but is your uh, pin six that we talked about that's in the program that will make the LED lights do fun stuff. Right now she's plugging in the sensor which has four pins on it. Two of them are power. We all know what that is. And then the other one is um, data, transmit and receive. It's okay, you got like four minutes. I know, but I can't, I didn't forgot which one's which. Oh, yes. Here you go, there's your pins. Okay. So what I've got up on the screen is a uh, the actual program that we use. And I know I didn't talk to the AV guy about this, but is it hard to switch over to HDMI if we wanted to? Okay. Yeah, not yet. We're just, just, we're still going. Thanks. I'll show you the actual program that we're using here so you can get a visualization of it. So she's taking the colored wires that we predetermined and connecting to the correct pins to, to put this project together. She's 10 last time I checked, which is pretty cool. We started soldering when, when she was six. That worked out for about 10 minutes till she burned herself, and then that, she was done with soldering till she was eight. So if we do that again, uh, all right, do you have it? Let's see. Man, I don't have my glasses on. I hope that's right. Uh, looks about right. So what you do need to do now is she's gonna plug it in and send the code to the Arduino. Now what this code download does is change the program from the one you've been seeing to a slightly different one. No, it won't work yet. You've got to download it. Oh. Oh, it's so what she's doing right now is sending the code down there. And hopefully if it works, those LEDs will go green here in a second. Oh, okay. oh wait. Distance is right there. There we go. So the distance is set up so that if you're a long ways away, it's green. If you get close, it turns red or does something. I don't know. Is it changing colors? As we do this, it's stuck on red. Uh oh. Again. Did you break it? No. Oh, I see what happened. We did that last night. That came off. No. I bet that's important. 
There it goes. All right. There it goes. Yay! All right, so remember when I talked about design and stuff? The first time we did this, we put this on plexiglass or was looking at that, and that didn't work. It wasn't shippable, it wasn't movable. All kinds of things just would not work no matter how we tried it. So we, we were sitting there literally two days before this started and said, what are we going to do? So we grabbed the cigar box. Cigars are good sometimes. Don't smoke. And we put everything in it like this. See, there's all the jumper wires and everything. We put holes in it. We used some of mom's uh, glue there. And we made it all self-contained to where all we have to do is plug it in. Man, I hope this works. Oh, that is a smiley face, the green. So if you get close to it, yeah, it goes no. red. Oh, yeah, like it keeps doing. Oh, good idea. So it goes red. I don't know if you can see that as much. And it goes smiley. So, and that's, that was our project. Now, what, the reason we did this is she went through and, and we actually sat in the hotel room trying to figure out how to make the smiley face and turn each LED on and off. And that's some of the fun part of the programming side is, is she got experience doing that. From here, since we have like 10 other LEDs or um, inputs and outputs that we can play with, our next thing to do will be to take and put sensors in it uh, temperature sensors, maybe have that LED change color. From here, once it's in the box and it's ready to go, we can use jumpers and do anything we want. So that's, oh, we got a question. I can't hear you, but I'll try. All right, he asked a very good question. I think I heard it right. I'm gonna try to repeat it. He asked, does it always have to be plugged into the computer? So what happens is you write this software it downloads it to the computer here, and it's always there until we change it. The only reason I've got it plugged into the computer is for power at this point. I don't have to, if I had the little, uh, the wall ward or whatever, it would go. So let's see, how many Arduinos did I give away? I gave one to the filmers. Hi, Mom. I gave one to this young man. That means I've got one left. Let's see. Let's come up with a good question. What's our question going to be? Don't tell anybody. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. No? All right. Who is under the age of 16? Raise your hand and keep it up, keep it up. All right, how many volts, how many volts is a Arduino? He got five, he hit it first. Okay, so you got one, come find me after. Now we're gonna do a bonus one. I'm gonna give away one more, one more. Who makes the Arduino chip that runs the, the Arduino? What's the core chip? Uh, no, it's not Intel. Uh-oh, does he know it? He's like, I don't know. I don't know. Anybody? What was it? I didn't hear you. Did you say... Atmel. Wow. You've got a serious cough there, young lady. You need to change that. All right, we'll make it up. <laughs> Folks, thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Hope you had some fun. And come next year. We have some of these up here, too, if you'd like them.